eighty-five percent of the students get this wrong. Why? Now, let's go. You can find out this denominator can be factorized. X squared minus four is x squared minus two squared, and by using the formula, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So this is x plus two times x minus two. So this is four divided by x plus two times x minus two equals one over x minus two. Now you can see x minus two, x minus two appears on the both denominators. So what shall we do? We can multiply the both sides by x minus two, and we can get four over x plus two equals one. So what can we get then? Multiply x plus two on the both sides, we can get four equals x plus two. Subtract two from the both sides, we get two is equal to x. Oh, we've succeeded. Most of the students did in this way, and they got the answer wrong. Why? If you substitute this answer or this fake answer to our original equation, you can find out that x minus two equals zero is the denominator. However, zero can never be the denominator. So where's the problem? Actually, here, we said we can multiply the both sides by x minus two, but under one condition. X minus two cannot be zero. We can never multiply the both sides of an equation by zero. The domain of x is actually x can be any real number without two and negative two. If our answer is two or negative two, then it will never be called Answer. So, what is actually the real answer? The real answer is no solutions. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.